Hi guys, so I'm gonna give you a tip today on how you can work on making really good contact ball first when you go to the driving range and all you're going to need is a piece of tape. A question I ask a lot of golfers when they come to me, particularly beginner golfers, is at what point do we think we need to make contact with the ground? We know we need to make contact with the ground because when we see a professional golfer playing, they take a nice healthy divot when they make contact with irons. And I ask the question, is it contact with the ground first, ball second, ball and ground at the same time, or ball first, then ground? And what a lot of people will say is, I think I need to make contact with the ground first, ball second. Well, if we think logically about what would happen there, that would mean we'd be hitting the floor before the ball upwards this way, really, really compromising the quality of contact. So again, I use this piece of tape, just pop it down on the floor ahead of the golf ball because we want to hit ball first, ground second. I want you to hit balls with a piece of tape ahead of the golf ball to really try and promote a downward angle of attack into the golf ball. So we want to hit ball first, ground second. Once I've hit the shot, we should see that piece of tape disappear. Let's see what happens. So that's really nice, ball first contact, ground second, try it out next time you go to the driving range and let me know how you get on.